The One Straw Revolution, an introduction to natural farming by Masanobu Fukuoka is about challenging modern industrial farming with a new way of farming called natural farming. Natural farming is also known as the do-nothing farming. The reason it is called that is because it takes the approach of doing as little as possible. It takes everything out that is not needed in farming. That includes no cultivation, no chemical fertilizer or prepared compost, no weeding by tillage or herbicides, and no dependence on chemicals. Fukakawa argues that this should be the new way of farming. It is environmentally friendly and produces around the same amount, if not more, than modern farming. There are a lot of good points brought up in this book. The fact that Western farming is selling out to chemical and fertilizer companies is a good point to bring up. Another good point is that people do not need to eat out of seasoned food because it is less tasty and less nutritious. All these points lead into the idea that natural farming is better than modern farming. There are, however, some criticisms. The biggest one for me is that he claims doctors should also incorporate this do-nothing lifestyle and that people should step outside and embrace nature to heal themselves. Yet he was healed by modern medicine near the beginning of the book. If doctors were not working their hardest on certain patients, these patients would die. This do-nothing lifestyle cannot be applied to every illness. Another problem I have with his way of thinking is that it insults people who seek to expand outside themselves. I understand this book is supposed to be about embracing nature, however, it gives no leeway to people who embrace and pursue science. While I do think his opinions about this subject are fairly valid, he downright disses anyone who seeks to know more about the world around them outside of nature being nature. Despite all of that, I think there are several new and interesting ideas in this book. The biggest one that has changed my way of thinking is that people should appreciate food for what it is. We shouldn't keep finding new spices and new ways of flavoring food that is already good. We should appreciate food for what it is, not for what it can become with all the right ingredients. It is hard to say that I'd recommend the complete book to everyone. Not everyone is going to be interested in the details of natural farming, even though it was necessary so people understood and trusted his opinions. However, it is still not the most interesting to read if you are not into agriculture or the environment. I would still recommend people read everything else, though. It brings up in question some serious ideas about farming and our way of life. I think it challenges Western ideas in a new and compelling way.